Hey everybody, Sean here from Sun Wine Club, and I have got some wine for you. This is the Bodega Garzon Reserva Marcelan from the 2017 vintage. This is from Uruguay, uh, from Maldonado and Garzon on the coast of Uruguay in South America, and is part of the July 2023 Sun Wine Club box. Now, I've actually featured a wine from Garzon before in one of the wine club boxes back in... I think it was either April or May of 2021 when I first started, I had the Garzon Alberino in the box. Uh, so, been a couple of years, I figured it was time to revisit uh, a wine from Garzon because honestly they are one of my favorite wineries in South America. One of the most interesting and uh, kind of forward thinking and dynamic producers in the, co in the uh, continent and they make some really delicious stuff. And so, I'm sharing with you today the Marceline, which is a unique variety that most of you probably have not tasted before. Uh, there's not a ton of Marceline that is widely available. Most of it's planted in the Languedoc in the south of France. There is a little bit being planted in Bordeaux now as a trial variety, uh, and there's some in California. And that's pretty much it, aside from the Garzon. So Marceline was a grape variety that was created in France uh, as a crossing between Grenache, uh, from the Rhone and Cabernet Sauvignon from Bordeaux. They were looking for a variety that would tolerate heat a little bit better than, than Cabernet Sauvignon does. And Grenache is a very heat tolerant grape variety, uh, retains good freshness uh, even in warm climates. Uh, and so in the 60s, they created Marceline. Uh, and like I said, it's planted mostly in France, but with growing amounts of plantings happening elsewhere outside of Europe. So Garzon has this grape variety uh, as the winemaker for the property uh, and viticulturalist and the team there felt it would be a good grape variety for the climate of Maldonado and Garzon. So they are in the coastal kind of southeast of Uruguay, uh, only a few kilometers from the South Atlantic Ocean. Uh, so they're getting constant breezes coming off of the water. It's not dissimilar in climate and kind of the way that the ocean influences the land to coastal Tuscany, uh, which is part of the reason why when this winery started, it was actually because the founders, uh, who funnily enough, and I didn't realize this until after I'd already assembled the box, uh, but the, the winery was started by Alejandro Bolgaroni, who is, if you've already watched the video for Argento, is the, the person who purchased Argento in 2012. So in 2007, him and Alberto Antonini, winemaker, consulting, enologist, uh, were looking at the terroir of Uruguay and thought that it would be a perfect place to have uh, a world-class winery. And so in 2008, they started plantings, uh, and it didn't take long before Garzon made its mark on the world stage. So they also do some really interesting things with Tanat. Uh, another French grape variety, this one from the Southwest, which is big and dense and tannic, hence the name Tanat, uh, and then of course the, the Albarino. So let's taste the Marceline and we can talk a little bit about coastal Uruguay. So this is a 2017, uh, so now six years old or five and a half years old, I guess. Um, so it is just starting to show a little bit of development. It has a touch of dried fruit and a little bit of earthiness which adds to complexity, but it is still fairly primary in the like fruit. It's lots of black fruit. There's lots of blackberry and black plum and a little bit of like dried strawberry, like freeze dried strawberry or dehydrated strawberry. It has this really lovely kind of candied sweet character to the aroma of the fruit. When you do crossings, uh, you don't always get characteristics that are similar to the parentage grape varieties, which is why blending trials or um, like crossing trials exist because they try and do it over and over again and eventually they'll get something that they like and that carries the right characteristics that they're looking for. So I'm not sure how long it took them to get this, but I think it does a great job of capturing both a little bit of the Cabernet character and a little bit of the Grenache character and melding them into one where you have this lovely kind of ripe, juicy, candied fruit, but also structure and also tolerance to heat and drought. Tannins are moderate. They're not like 
super aggressive, like really ripe, dense Cabernet Sauvignon tannins, which are grippy and inky and black and kind of stain your teeth and dry out your tongue. This is a little bit more restrained than that. Uh, there is definitely body and alcohol and weight behind this wine, uh, but in a nicely balanced package that puts fruit kind of at the forefront, you see a lot of that, like I said, candied red and black fruit, a touch of spice and lots of earthiness, lots of potting soil and turned earth and forest floor. Um, man. It's not often that you have a grape variety that is kind of new but old, I guess, uh, where like this grape variety was started in the 60s, uh, but it carries so much interesting lineage from the history of Cabernet and Bordeaux and Grenache in the south of France that it still has a unique perspective and, and something to offer. And then you take that and you take it to a new world wine region like Uruguay, where Garzon is doing something that hasn't been done before. Uh, they are on very old ancient soils uh, in Maldonado and Garzon on the coast of Uruguay, uh, and everything's being done sustainably. Uh, they're the first lead certified winery outside of North America. Uh, everything's done gravity or with minimal handling. So uh, a very unique and interesting project that, like I said, has gathered the attention of the international wine community fairly quickly after its inception. Being that this wine does have tannin, does have structure, uh, decanting is like a, probably a good choice here. It's going to kind of shed a little bit of that grainy, grippy tannin, and it will allow a little bit more of the fruit and aromatics to show. Um, having just a very light chill on this is probably great. This came out of my wine fridge about half an hour ago, so it's probably sitting at around 15 degrees, which I think is, that's a good temperature for this wine. Uh, it's not going to mute any of those really pretty aromatics and fruit, but it's still going to allow the structure and the weight of the wine to show. find this as delicious as I do. Uh, I'm excited to be able to kind of try some try something interesting food-wise with this. Uh, I'm going to do some research into like traditional cuisine of, of Uruguay and maybe I can tie in kind of new school winemaking, sustainable winemaking with unique grape varieties in a unique place with tradition and history in the region and Kind of see what comes out of that. I love the opportunity to play around with different flavors and different opportunities. Journey of discovery, right? Wine is an adventure of your own design, uh, and however adventurous you choose to be, uh, the world is so large and there's so much to explore, and I'm just here to try and help open some doors and guide you in the right direction to make new discoveries and find new and interesting things for yourself. So thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying the, uh, the Bodega Garzon Marcelin. I hope that, uh, you find pleasure in enjoying new and interesting things as much as I do. Uh, and I appreciate it. We'll see you all next time. Thanks.